How's everyone everyone? Mask here, back with some Black Desert Mobile. Uh, today's gonna be my next installation of the Merchant Tree video series. We're gonna be going over the third and fourth fundamental of Merchant Tree. Uh, after which you should absolutely have a core understanding of all of the aspects of Merchant Tree and how to really uh, improve how you're doing it, get more experience every day, and get tons more loot as well. Uh, stay tuned though, this will not be the end of my Merchant Tree videos. I also have one planned where I will in-depth dive into the actual Merchant Tree routes and, and crown a champion in that regards, and then try to do a super uh, kind of condensed, fast-paced Merchant Tree video after that as well. But third and fourth fundamental of Merchant Tree, hope you enjoy it. Fundamental number three, preloading your cart. Make over double the experience and silver. And it's learning how to min-max overload your cart to bring it into Merchant Tree and seriously pump up the available money that you have available to yourself. So, to, and to start that off with, we're going to head over to our storage, pop that open. So, if you look at my storage here, if I scroll up, I have... 3,000, so if you can see my merchant, tree, my merchant Tree item collection here, and there's a big reason for this. In order to fully explain it, let's pop up our, our infographic on the right side here again. So, my personal favorite route, doesn't even matter, my, my favorite two routes, I have two favorite routes. It's either bouncing between Velia and Western Guard Camp, and you just bounce back and forth. Sometimes you go there and back, sometimes you just go there, restart, there and back, restart, and really, really just min-max the events. This is the shortest trip between two towns. You get tons and tons of opportunities to, to cash in on huge items exchange-wise and also just sell huge, huge numbers of items and make tons and tons of silver. My other favorite route is Trent to Bear. Regardless of which, of which one that you like, let's, I'm going to teach you how to, how to overload a cart and set yourself up for crazy success. So let's pretend we're doing Velia and Western Guard Camp here. So... If I'm loading, we're gonna we're gonna pretend like we're loading into Velia. That means what you don't want to bring with you is uh, actually I'm not sure this quite works. No, we have to I have to pretend I'm loading into Trent because I just that's just the items I've currently stocked up on. I'm limiting to that scenario. So I'm gonna load into Trent. My destination city is going to be Bear. So that's there's six items I'm guaranteed access to in my merchant tree session, no matter what. Omnius Black Mercury, High Quality Crystal, Omnius Rock Fragment. And then when I arrive at Bear, Dragon Statue, Relic Remnants, and Wall Carpet, I'll also have access to. So that's six of the 15 available items that I'm guaranteed to get access to no matter what. So how do we absolutely min-max outside of that? We look at we look up at North Calpheon. We have Copper Decorative Chandelier, Splendid Bedside Table, and Round Table, which I've also done this rapport trick at and stocked up on their items. As you can see, I have 3,800 round table, 3,000 splendid bedside table, and 4,000 chandeliers. Now you're gonna see the advantage to just buying max rapport and super stocking these items into my storage. We're gonna go ahead and unload 300 of each. Round table, unload. I think it's easier to hit one, two, three, yep. And splendid bedside table. So now we have 300 of each of those. Actually, my inventory is super clogged here. And why would that be? Because I've already done this. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, perfect. So my inventory is actually set up. Because the next thing I was going to say is look at Aphiria. There's a reason I'm currently loading into Aphiria. Because I'm stocking up on black fragments, decorative steel, decorative steel swords, and splendid wagon badges as well. So now in my inventory, which you can see when I pop the right screen out of the way, I have 400 fragments, 400 swords, 400 badges... Decorative chandeliers, bedside tables, and round tables. Now we're going to prepare the cart to, to completely set this merchant tree session on fire. So you look at our trade goods. We're going to put 100 of every one of these items, and except for one, which we're going to put 66 in. And I'll explain why in just a moment. This is the last one, so we're going to put 66 in. And that is because I will pop out of your way so you can see the number. We're now at 1,698 out of 2,000 weight, which means we have enough room for exactly 100 more items, which we are going to purchase from this town that we arrive at. So let's depart for Merchant Tree. We're pretending we're loading the Trent right now. It just so happens I'm currently trying to stockpile on more Aphiria items. That's why I'm loading into Aphiria. Now we're going to pop up the value. And let's check this crazy numbers out. Southwest Calpheon. 
right now, if we were loading into Trent, which is what we're doing, two of the items I brought in are sellable at Bear already. So we're going to set Bear as the destination and check out our merchandise. There's another one that's purchasable, which means we're about to roll up to Bear with 300 sellable items, and that's going to sell for close to 12 million silver. Turn around... Uh, and actually, only the decorative steel sword is going to be sellable at Trent. But if we set Trent as a destination and check in Bear, two items are purchasable at Bear. So we're about to do a 12 million silver sell when we arrive at Bear, purchase 200 more items, and do another 12 million silver sell over at Trent. And there is the magic of learning how to properly load a cart, min-max this knowledge of what items are sold where from all over the server, and it turns your there and back merchantry runs where normally we would only sell maybe 100 to we, we would only go there sell like 100 items maybe 200 items on the way back all of a sudden we're selling 600 items in that same time frame because of these upgraded carts by just flexing on all this knowledge on the right side of what items are sold exactly in which towns and boom exactly <laughs> fundamental number four the route you take traveling between towns efficiently and effectively. Now, the fourth and final fundamental of merchantry that I want to go over with you today is going to be your routes or the actual physical act of going between towns. We're talk we've talked about a lot of min-maxing stuff, but to be honest, this is probably the most flexible part of your run because this also has to fit you. You have to be happy with what you're doing. You you can go with you, there's there's many different ways to approach routes and one and there's a couple main ones. That are, that are talked about. You have Western Guard Camp to Velia. And what you do is you spawn, you, you load into Velia or load into a Western Guard Camp, go to the other town, sell everything you can, buy everything to go back, uh, arrive back at Velia, or leave after only making your one way trip. And you're really, really like hardcore min maxing, slaving away, doing as many runs as possible. Another place where you can do this exact same strategy is over in, in South. West Calpheon, and you do it with Trent and Bear. The, the reason that these are the two main choices is these are the two pairs of cities that are absolutely the closest together. Uh, one thing that's really nice about Trent and Bear is that they have a very uh, logical path between them with a very high density of events. And it's, it's very smooth, uh, relaxing, it's the same sort of path every time. And uh, I'm not going to get too into depth about the routes themselves because that I actually am going to dedicate to its own video. Hardcore analyzing and, and really mathematizing which route is going to be better. It's important for you to just sort of efficiently go about doing your routes. Traveling between towns needs to be done in a way where you're planning ahead, looking for the experience nodes. The event nodes are extremely important. To put it in perspective, uh, when you make a delivery of 100 items, those 100 items are worth 4 or 6 event points. And if my event scoreboard is whites are worth 1, greens are worth 2, blues are worth 3, purples are worth 4, and oranges are worth 6. So your 100 items you're delivering are worth 4 to 6 event nodes. So if you're picking up 20 event nodes on the way, you're making more experience from the events than you are from actually selling the items in your town. So I'm, I'm loading into Velia. My route here would probably be, uh, I would probably swoop up, snag this little cluster here, make my way down, uh, just kind of touch this green one, but then it's worth me going this way in behind because this purple's worth so many points. And I do this little weave to maximize the number of event points I'm going to get, and that would be my route between towns. Now, the, the different viable routes, I'll just kind of summarize all of them. And this is, it all depends on you. How much time do you have for Merchantry and what is going to make you be able to actually enjoy the content? So one of the viable routes is Velia to Western Guard Camp and back. I'm not a huge fan on that route of bouncing into Heidelglish because this is a very clustered map with, with decently far distances between towns. Now, another one is going to be uh, the, the North Calpheon route and you kind of there's a nice circle here you can go Calpheon, Aphiria, Florin, Calpheon and then you're done your route restart Calpheon, Aphiria, Florin, Calpheon uh, it, it's actually a really relaxing route it uses up a little bit more food in uh, quicker while still being very efficient at merchantry itself the important part is is you're always taking the time to scout the map that you're on 
look around, see all of the nodes, and plan a, an efficient, logical route between the nodes. And also, when you get to your when you get to your your first town, you arrive at your first town. You're loading in. Obviously, you're checking your trader, looking at buying, selling, exchange, all of that stuff. But the important thing then is waiting until the time resets. So sometimes it's really important when you first load into Merchant Tree and you have two minutes up, go quick, 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 get out and try to get to the next town in those first two minutes. So then the reset happens. And when that t when this timer resets at the top right, all of the, your nodes get refreshed on the map, your event nodes. So then you're going to get a ton of event nodes on your way back if you're doing a return trip. So the three viable routes in the game right now are Velia Western Guard Camp, Florin, Aferia, and Calpheon as sort of a loop, or Bear and Trent. And of course, we've, we've talked about loading your car properly, we've talked about using that map and knowledge of what items are sold where, and going and stocking up. So I'll, I'll quickly touch on that. If you're doing the Velia Western Guard Camp route, you have swords, fragments, and wagon badges, and... Uh, black mercury high quality crystal and rock fragments so if you're doing this route you want to go to Heidel and glish once every three days and stock up on their items because they are six items that are not sold at velia or trent so there's your pair it's Vel it's velia western guard camp Heidel glish to stock up on items go back to velia western guard camp load your cart up appropriately so you're min maxing the amount of sales you can make in your merchant tree run uh, moving on if we go over to trent and bear you have some options so if you're doing trent bear uh, you can, if you rewind the video, actually, I can, you, you'll see the um, who sells what where. You can actually pop that open here real quick, <clears throat> and we can pop open the right screen to show them as well. Merchant Tree Towns, boom, boom, boom. Here's our who, what, and where of Merchant Tree. So uh, we we can talk about. Trent and Bear. We have Black Mercury, High Quality Crystal, Omnius Rock Fragment, Statue, Relic, and Wall Carpet. So the three complementary towns that sell things that you can't get at Vel a Trent or Bear are going to be Aferia. The, the closest ones are going to be Aferia, Southeast, uh, sorry, Aferia, Keplin, and Calpheon themselves. They sell the complementary three sets of items. So if you're doing the Trent Bear route, those are the three towns you want to visit. Two of the three, you'll, you, we can only take advantage of stocking up on two towns worth of items due to the limitation of the size of our cart currently. So, so your your route number two is Trent to Bear and back. With a, with every three days, you're, I like to stock up at Aferia and, and Calpheon personally. Uh, with Velia, Western Guard Camp, you're stocking up at Glish and Heidel. There's your your 12 items in total that will be part of your route. And with Calpheon, Aferia, and, and Florin, that route of three different towns... It's interesting, but you're going to be stocking up at Keplin and Bear, actually. And, and so, Etheria, Calpheon, and Florin, because you're getting access to nine items, you can actually bring in six, and, and, it's, and it's a really cool route, because you actually have every single item in the game available to you in every Merchant Tree run. So, if you're doing Etheria, Calpheon, and Florin, you literally need to go to Bear, or Delph Outpost, pick one or the other. Bear is actually more convenient, though. I like I like dropping on the Bear as, as opposed to Delph. So you go to Bear and Keplin, stockpile the items. You're going to load your cart with those six items to start. 100, 100, 100, 166. And then you do your Calpheon, Florin, and, and Aferia routes. And you are selling a ton of items very efficiently because you have access to all the items in the game. Which routes are the best? That's something I'm going to get into a little bit uh, w with a completely dedicated video because there's a lot of how I'm calculating things, setting up expectations. That's a that's a very intense video in its own. Uh, my plans for Merchant Tree video content moving forward. This was my fundamentals. I wanted to cover all the fundamentals as efficiently as possible and try to make this a logical video with flow. Something I've really struggled to do with Merchant Tree so far. So I had a plan. I've covered the four fundamentals of Merchant Tree here. Next up, I'm gonna do a video where I'm I'm like super mathematically comparing the routes because I still personally want to know what the best route is, and I'm still conflicted. I will tell you if you're an insane person and you're really min-maxing going between towns, it is either Velia Western Guard Camp or Trent Bear. Both of those routes definitely outscale the Calfiana Feria Florin route. But this, I would suggest this route to someone who has a limited, a, a significantly smaller time frame to do Merchant Tree in. You're going to get to go town one, town two, town three, almost every single run, uh, picking up items every time. 
You can even, from Calpheon, you can even bounce to the side towns just for, to, just to speed up your process a little bit. But if you're a, if you're a crazy person with four to five hours to do merchantry in a day, uh, Western Guard Camp Velia, where you just go there and back, exit, enter. Or there, exit, enter, back, exit, enter. Sometimes, depending on how, how things are flowing, these two routes are definitely going to produce more merchantry experience and more items. But that's going to do it for today's merchantry video. I hope I've really shed light on some, some cool secrets. Loading that cart up is one of the craziest things. It takes your merchantry runs and all of a sudden you are printing silver. Like you're literally a money press. And your experience you're going to be getting overall for merchantry will almost be tripled. It is really, really cool. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, whoa, my, my emergency plan. So we're going to do it. We're going to do a route analysis video where we really dive in. And by the end of it, every one of us will have no doubt on what the best emergency routes are. And then after that, I'm really, I'm really, I have a lot of friends who are like, man, merchantry, you need to just show me the way. I don't care about the theory. I love theory. You know that. But my, after that, I have a merchantry video planned where I will, whatever route is victorious as the best route in the game. I will basically do a super condensed video on merchantry, how to be the, how to do merchantry to the best of its ability, really condensed and not tell you, it, it'll focus less on why and more on copy me and you're going to be good. So a really quick, short to the point, this is how you merchantry like a boss video. But that, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I see you again tomorrow and until then smash that subscribe button and stay classy. And there you have it. That is the fundamentals of merchantry all summed up now in, in the two videos that I've, that we've put out. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, this, this, these are the building blocks of fully understanding the content and really how, uh, how I've made the decisions I've made so far and how you can make your own decisions involving merchantry and just improve how you're going about doing it. Stay tuned though, I got two more videos planned, at least for Merchantry in the near future. One where I really dive deep into comparing the different routes and crowning a king, and one where I'm basically going to create a, a fast track, like for people who don't really care about the why and the what, basically a, this is my daily route on, on super speed, copy me and you're going to be great. But thanks so much for watching, hopefully I see you again tomorrow, but until then, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.